Good afternoon. This is Nanny from Booties and Bonnets. I am joined by two of my sweet babies um, here. Um, I had a dentist appointment this morning and I came home and did some house chores and I decided it would be a good day for to change my dollies. And um, I want to welcome all my new subscribers and everyone else who always joins me and leaves such wonderful comments. Um, I really appreciate all the, um, the sweet comments that I get. And uh, I love this hobby. And, uh, you know, we can love dolls no, ma no matter what age we are. Um, it's just really fun. Uh, you know, guys can collect their railroad, their trains or their little cars and that, so why can't we collect dollies? So I'm joined here by uh, little Eleanor Ruth and she's been wearing this, um, these little shorts for quite a while. So I thought I'd take them off and, and put a pretty little dress on her. It's, it's a vintage dress. Uh, well, my daughter wore it in the early 1990s and, um, and I kept it um, in the hope chest. So it, it's a, the dress is a special significance for me and so I thought I would um, um, yes, get her dressed in that and then I have little Noah and he needs to get changed too. Um, he's, uh, let's see, uh, Little Eleanor, she's the April Sculpt by Adri Stoet, or Stoetti, and I just love her sweet little face with her blue eyes. Um, her artist did a beautiful job on her, um, Old Fashioned Reborns, and um, I love this little girl. And she's got very fine uh, yellow hair, kind of baby-like hair, very soft. And I just love this little girl. And look at her hands. Uh, she's got big open hands. And she's about 20 inches, I mean 26 inches long. So she's a, a big baby. Um, I consider her, she could be a toddler, um, I guess. And um, yeah, I love, I like collecting either toddler sized dollies or um, newborn sized dollies. So I like them all of all different sizes, and um, so yeah. So I'm gonna change her first, and then I'll change little Noah, because he's been wearing that same outfit for probably a month or more. So, um, but I hope you're all doing well, and uh, those of you who are getting cold winter weather, hang in there. Spring is coming soon. We're we're glad about that, aren't we? But, um, so, you know, I'm one of those as I undress my dollies, I like to fold, fold the clothes and I, um, you know, it's, it's nice to be organized so it doesn't get so messy. And, um, so I'm going to take this off. Yeah, toddlers are a little trickier to undress. Um, baby, little ones are a lot easier. But toddlers are a little, uh, you know, they've got longer limbs, and um, so it takes a little while. But we'll get her undressed and and get put her cute little dress on because she likes to wear dresses too, don't you, Eleanor? And I love old-fashioned names for my dollies too. Um, I think Eleanor is such a pretty name, and. Uh, her middle name is Ruth, after my grandmother, so Eleanor Ruth. Oh my goodness, she's such a sweetheart. Yes, aren't you? And she's got the sweetest little hair. Little, uh, look at how pretty she is. I love her um, suede, kind of her, um, what is it, flesh color, uh, soft body that she has. And she's well, she's got lots of stuffing in her. So she's kind of heavy. She gets, she's a little on the heavy side, but she's a little sweetheart. All right, so I'm gonna leave these pink tights on and I'll show you what little dress I'm gonna put on. So this is the dress I found and it was in, in, our, in my hope chest and it's got flowers. Reminds me of spring coming with all the little flowers. And it's got 
two little red buttons and um, some of this little lace or I forget what you call this but I love I love this little dress and I think it's like a 2T or 18 month but even if it's a little bit big for her that's okay it doesn't have to be um, you know fit her perfectly and this was my daughter's when she was a little girl so it's very special look at how pretty it is with the I don't think they make outfits this way, like this anymore. They're hard to find, but um, so it's got like a little top underneath. I'll show you. See, it's got kind of a, a, a little dress underneath, and then it's got like a pinafore or that on on the outside. So it's a two-piece outfit, and I just love that color combination with the light blue and the red and the greens. And I love this, um, what do they call this? Peter Pan collar. I think that looks so sweet. So we're going to put this on little Eleanor. So let me make sure we're on. Yeah, we're doing okay. So um, I turned off the light because I think then things don't look as yellow. And otherwise it, everything looks too yellow. And um, so we'll put this on. Right, and uh, let's see what what should we talk about today? I guess we're all looking forward to spring and the nice, the warmer weather. It's been kind of a, you know, after February is over and March is here, we start. We're all really thinking about springtime, and it'll be exciting to watch the the buds coming out or you know once the snow is gone then it's always exciting to see what comes next um, and then you start seeing the little robins coming out I haven't seen any robins yet so I don't think spring is um, quite here yet I think they're smart they let us know when spring is here and um, but I think they are forecasting warmer weather ahead, so in the next week or two, hopefully we'll get some warmer weather. Right, little Eleanor? So it's hard to talk and dress dollies at the same time, but I'll do my best. Oh, this is going to look so cute on her. I'm going to leave her little uh, pink tights on. Um, sweet Claudia gave me the pink tights. and. Um, pink goes with just about anything, which is really nice, and, uh, yeah, so, all right, well, I'll try not to rush too, too much, there, yeah, and she's, num um, little, uh, Eleanor is 95 out of 100, and her sculpt is from 2012, um, so, um, quite a while ago. It's, I think it's a retired sculpt now. So it makes it kind of special that way. And um, so I'm just buttoning her little dress under here. There. Oh, these little tiny buttons can get kind of tricky sometimes. So yeah, my daughter wore this dress. I even remember her wearing it. And now she's almost going to be, she's what, 32 now? Gosh, time flies. But my husband went cross-country skiing, so I thought, you know what, this is the perfect chance to make a video. Yes, isn't it, little Eleanor? Oh my gosh, this little dress looks really cute on her. I'll have to show you. It looks adorable. Yes, doesn't it? Look at you. It may be a little longer than other dresses, but that's okay. It seems to fit her pretty good. Look at that. Yeah, it's a little, uh, you know, the nice thing about toddlers is that you can either, they can take many different sizes. They can go all the way from 9 months to 12 months to 18 months to, uh, you know, it, it varies. You know, the sizes vary a lot. So, but there she is. Doesn't she look sweet with her little uh, her little flowers and she's all ready for springtime, aren't you, Eleanor? Yes. And let's see what we're gonna put on your hair. Cause she gotta put something pretty on your hair. 
Let's see, I had a little, oh, I found a little bow that we're going to put, a little gray or silvery gray sparkly bow. that to look just perfect. So I just have to be very gentle with her here. Yes, we have to be very gentle. I wish I had a changing table, but I don't. So this is where I, where I do my videos um, with my dollies. Yeah, she's got very fine hair, but I love it the way it's kind of long and wispy. Um, and she's got very long eyelashes. So Eleanor, we're going to put these little bows in your hair. And I'm going to leave the same shoes that she has on. I need to buy her some dressy shoes. Because I'm, I'm not sure what size she takes, probably a two or a three. She's got long feet. So... So Claudia gave me this too, and it's so soft and pretty, and oh, she'll look lovely in this little headband. Oh, don't you look sweet? So I'll just put it up here like this, and it's by Mon Chaton, Ch Chaton Boutique. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Doesn't she look sweet? Oh, you look adorable. I love this little dress. It's been stored away for a reason. I love that. It's a little bit big on her, but I think it looks really pretty. So, anyway, so we'll put little Eleanor back here. There we go. And she's got her little bunny, that her lovey that um, Claudia gave her, gave her also. Sorry about this. It's a little tricky, like I said. So we'll put this over here, put you over here, little Eleanor. And then we'll get your little brother all dressed. Yeah, like I said, I haven't dressed, changed them in a long time. There, don't you look pretty? Oh, I love that. And here's her little bunny. See the little bunny? With Easter coming up, it'll be perfect. So she... She gets to have her bunny, and her little sister Diana has the other bunny, so they each have a bunny. Yes. So, okay. So we're going to dress little um, Noah, and he's the, the Grant sculpt, and he's so cute. I love this little guy. And he was one of my first dollies that I had, got in my collection. I got him in 2016. So he's a big, he's an older baby, but I love this sculpt too. So we'll put him over here and change him. There we go. Now, um, it's funny, but I don't have a lot of, uh, well, I've got a lot of summer clothes. Winter stuff, I have some. So I decided today I'm going to dress him in a little more summery outfit, or spring-summer. Uh, I'm kind of, you know, it's nice to just start thinking about springtime. So I, I found a really cute outfit. And like I said, I'm going to put all your clothes over there. And this, I love, I love the nice warm clothes that they wear, but it's always exciting to change them into, um, more some springy summer like I mean yeah spring and summer clothes but isn't he a cutie yeah he's a cute little boy yes I hope your little face is showing well I'll be able to tell let's see oh yeah you're showing up really good and little Eleanor is showing up too all right so I'll show you what he's gonna wear I wonder, I think I'll just keep his onesie on. Hopefully his shirt will fit out, fit okay I'm over the top of this. He's he wears like nine months to twelve month clothes, so he's he's a big boy too. I mean he's um he uh yeah, I think he's got like this is nine months and that should fit him okay. I think it'll fit him well, we'll see. But um it's like a little romper and it has a octopus and a parrot and a palm tree and I love the combination of the color combination and um, I could even just put that on like this maybe I should do that 
I was going to put this turtle out shirt on, but I think I'll hold off and do this some other time so the video doesn't get too long. And, okay, so no one's saying, Mommy, Mommy, get me dressed. So, right? Yeah. So my wrist is doing a lot better. I kind of took a little tumble a couple weeks ago or that, and it was kind of a scary fall, but I thought I was going to have to go to a walk-in or something, but thank goodness I'm okay. Thank you for all your prayers and that, for it to get better. Yes. So let's put this on. Oh, it's going to be a little snuggy, but that's okay. Little toddlers, I mean little babies, you know, after they've eaten, things get a little snuggier. Yeah, I love the way um, this artist painted this little guy, too. Um, I think it was Pr Precious Pearl Nursery that painted him. Yeah, and he's the Grand Sculpt, and I just love that. There's so many different variations of the Grand Sculpt. They're little girls, little boys. Um, that's what's so much fun about this Dolly hobby, that they come in all different... Um, yeah, that they all look so different. But there. Now, that was quick, wasn't it, little... So he's going to be, maybe I'll have to put a sweater on him, but for right now I think he looks really cute. Doesn't he look cute in his little romper? It'll make me think of springtime. He looks very cute. You know, I'll get his little teddy bear so you can see his little blue bear. Look at that. He's kind of a very soft, fleecy bear. Gund. He's a little gund bear. So that's little uh, Noah's bear. And I'll put these little booties on. I thought little yellow yellow would look cute. Yeah, these these were made by I don't know who made these, but they're I love the way they're uh, knitted or crocheted. They're just gorgeous with the little. Um, I love this uh, whatever stitch they used. I think it's really pretty. So we'll put those on little Noah. He's got big feet. Yes, you do. You got big feet. There. Okay, well, we don't want to make the video too long, do we? No. All oh, the babies took good naps this afternoon. It's a good day for that. It's kind of overcast outside. And um, we got a little bit of snow. So we'll tie this little booty. And then I'll put, her, put little Noah next to Eleanor. I had a couple things I wanted to just show you that I found that are kind of fun. There. You know, we all are collectors of things. We like to collect different things. And there we go. There's little, little Noah. And I'll put Eleanor's little hand over here so they look like they're holding hands. Oh, so cute. And I'll put his little bear next to him. Yeah, we'll just put them, put them right there so they all look really cute together. There. Yes, you're a good baby. Both of you are good kids. Yes, aren't you beautiful? So I'm, I was going to show you. I found uh, some black and white photographs. And I got this, these like at uh, antique stores. Um, and I just love these. They're so neat. Look at that. The little, I don't know if this is a little boy or a little girl, but I just love the way, you know, what how they used to dress their babies, you know, for photographs. Um, look at that sweet face. And he's wearing like a gown or something. It's hard to tell. But it could be, I'm, I'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl. I'm not sure. It could be, yeah. So... Well, it's, they're just beautiful photographs. And then I found this little one. Look at that. I love that photo. And it has um, a little girl or a little boy in like a long gown. 
I think it is so beautiful. And it's in black and white. And I'm sure that this was probably taken in the 1930s or 40s, maybe in the 30s. And I'm sure photographs were not that cheap back then. So to get a baby ready to get their photograph taken. Um, and it's the name is down there. I'm not sure what, what it says. Oh, I don't know. I, I can't read it. But it was some photography place. But I just love those photos. And this one, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But it's a little baby laying down. Or I'll sh show it to you. A little baby. A little black and white photo too. And I love that one. I love old-fashioned photographs. Isn't that sweet? Yes. <laughs> you wonder where those babies are now. But, but uh, And then, with spring coming up, I found this really cute greeting card. And it was one that my dad gave my daughter when she was little. And it says, it's got tulips. And it says, Granddaughter, it's your birthday and you're loved more than you know. Oh, you're, oh, look at this. You're cute and sweet and so much fun. And everywhere you go, you, may, you make the place much brighter with your special little glow. Have a birthday that is, that is as happy as you. Look at the beautiful little card. And I love the tulips. And the sun shining and the little bug up here. She's so cute. So I found that and it kind of glitters. It's kind of sweet. But so anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video today. And thank you for stopping by. And um, I'll be back again. And I wish you all a wonderful rest of the week. And um, I send everybody big hugs. So and many blessings. Bye-bye.